Hey everyone, this is J-Dog, and I'm here with another video. So, Biden is out. Kamala is in. What do I mean about that? We probably already know, but if you somehow was under a rock, still don't know what's going on. Joe Biden, current president of the United States, will actually not be seeking re-election after all. He has stepped out of the election. Now he will finish his term this year. Then, on January 20, he will leave office for good. Um, let's just face it, he, his health is not good. Um, people have noticed that he has caused a few problems. Um, he has not, he has lost some of the trust of his voters and constituents. The debate that he was in with Trump was a disaster. Trump's a liar. And Joe Biden, he just performed bad. He's kind of, uh, and now as a result, Oh, by the way, Joe Biden is the man on the left, our current president. Let's just face it, he can't do it. I mean, he also has to deal with his problems with his family, his family issues, mostly his son with his legal situation. So it, it's caused so much stress. So he's quitting is what you could say. He will. He's not resigning. He's going to finish. Like I said earlier, he's going to finish up his term and leave next year after um, the election later this November and it will be a new individual it will either be Trump or will be the woman on the right that's current Vice President Kamala Harris she is now going to step in that is if she get get enough delegates at this upcoming DNC convention to be the nominee and go against Trump. If she wins, she will be the first female president of the United States. Not only the first female of color or the first black or Asian or Jamaican descent or woman of color in general, she will be the first woman overall. I know she is not the only woman has ever tried to become president as Hillary Clinton and women even before Hillary Clinton have attempted to also try to seek the Oval Office only to fail as still to this day there's never been a woman in that Oval Office as a pre as the president um Kamala is hoping to finally be the one to finally do it or will she and this is whether you like her or hate her, history will be made if she finally finds a way to win. But that's all I have to say. So, yeah. Now, people have probably already been talking about this situation. Like I said, first she's going to try to get the delegates at the convention. And then she's going to try to beat Trump. So, the question is... Can she do it? Because I know that some people have reasons why they may not be able to trust Kamala. Because um, to tell you the truth, her chances right now are still slim. Um, it, it's going to be difficult. Very difficult. I'm not saying whether I like or hate Kamala Harris. Harris I'm just saying um, her track record might get in the way as well. So it's going to make people difficult. Not saying I'm a Trump supporter. I do not like that guy either. Neither of these people should try to get in. But, I mean, Joe Biden should have already had never got in even before 2020. So, yeah. But, like I said earlier, that's all I have to say. So, yeah, Kamala's going to try to get in. Biden, he's on his way out. But I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Write down in the comment section what you think.
Biden is out. Kamala is in. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, write down in the comment section what y'all think. Make sure you also subscribe and hit that notification bell. This is J-Dog. Thank you for watching. I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.